because black and minority owned businesses don't have access to the same capital. We don't have access to the same resources. You do need a little bit more support and guidance. Nikki Thompson Frazier knows that being a black business owner isn't easy. And as the first generation owner of Sweet and Counter Bakery and Cafe in Lansing, where only about one in five businesses are owned by black people, Thompson Frazier said that she's been dealing with the impact of those racial disparities since she opened in 2022. Last month, using funding from Biden's American Rescue Plan Act, the city of Lansing announced the first 10 graduates of its new Empower program, where local black business owners can enroll in free training sessions with consultants and other specialists, all geared toward finding ways to break barriers and grow their businesses. And the president's strategy appears to be working. Wealth for the average black family climbed 61% between 2019 and 2022. If you give people an opportunity or give people information, you can truly help change the trajectory of their business.